Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, I talk all things beauty. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how to's and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments you have for me down below. I am back bringing you guys another swatch video because it seems like brands are really loving their lip products recently and this one apparently TikTok is really loving. I had the hardest time trying to track these products down. I'm still missing two colors that I really wanted. Today we are going to be swatching the NYX Shine Loud High Shine Lip Colors. I have five of the 24 shades that are available and like I said it's super difficult to get your hands on these right now because of TikTok so I'm hoping by the time you guys see this swatch video you kind of figure out what shades you want to pick up once they go back into stock because I guarantee guarantee they're gonna sell out again so if you guys are interested in seeing the swatch video as well as getting some information about these then just keep on watching
All right, to start off, like I said, there are 24 shades of this High Shine lip color and they're dual ended. So you have the pigment right here, the lip color pigment, and then you have a sealant, acts like a gloss. That's the super shiny glass-like finish to it. And you're supposed to layer them. So you do the lip color first, let that dry for 90 seconds, and then you apply the sealant. On NYX's website, it says, meet our first ultra pigmented high shine lip color with 16 hours of no transfer wear now I'm not gonna be wearing these for 16 hours but I will update the description down below for you guys so you know how this wore on me personally um, it says lightweight and comfy on the lips this vegan formula delivers one swipe loud color with an ultra glossy non sticky shine finish. The kicker of this product is that there's no color transfer. Now they didn't say product transfer because the gloss does come off eventually, but the color does not transfer. So something that was really appealing for me, as I'm sure is with other people, is that you're supposed to be able to wear this under your mask. So I actually have one of my masks here and I'm gonna be putting this on to show you guys if it really is transfer, color transfer proof. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. So if you guys are wondering, the high pigment base coat is infused with macadamia seed oil, coriander fruit oil, jojoba seed oil, apricot kernel oil, and passion fruit seed oil. And the top coat is infused with vitamin E derivative. Right now I'm wearing Ambition Statement and it's kind of like a pinky brown shade. And like I said, I am missing two shades that I wanted. They were Magic Maker and Boundary Pusher. Um, I really thought that those were gonna be my favorites. However, I'm gonna have to wait for that to restock, which is totally fine because I'm just glad that I was able to get my hands on five different shades. These really remind me of the old, old Maybelline and I think also CoverGirl lip colors. They were dual ended and they were kind of the same format. It had a pigmented color on one side and then a clear coat on the other side. I don't necessarily think that I use those enough to really form an opinion. I think I had bought one when I first got into makeup and then I used it one time and like never again. So based off of my experience so far, when I received my package in the mail, I did try it on right away because I was really excited. When you put the lip color on and you let it dry, it does become a very, very sticky layer. Now that's totally fine because it's not meant to be worn alone. It's not a matte lip product. It's a high shine lip color. You'll see in the footage I added a little clip of me putting my lips together without the top coat and you can tell that it's just super super sticky so you have to wear the top coat. This is not a two product in one type of thing. I'm sorry to say. These most definitely stay on your lips. I don't know about 16 hours but when I had it on it was not moving. I was kissing my hand and no color was transferring only the glossy part of it. You can reapply the gloss on top if it does start to wear off. I don't know if the base layer will become sticky when the gloss wears off. I don't think it will, but don't quote me on that. You definitely need an oil-based product to remove this lip color. And yeah, that's about it. That's all the information I have for you. As always, I will be ranking my most favorite to my least favorite on the screen right now for you guys. So you kind of have an idea of which ones my favorites are. Let's put my mask on. <laughs> okay, so I have this super adorable mask that my aunt actually sewed for me and it has little dogs and people on it and I just love it so much. And I applied Ambition Statement on my lips. It's completely coated with the top coat. I think we're ready to go. And this is what the inside of the mask looks like. It's pretty much clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay, so my mask is on, as you can see, fits pretty well on the mouth. And when I breathe in, you can see that the mask goes in towards my mouth. <laughs> so it definitely is touching. Um, I wanna talk a little with the mask on for now so you guys can kind of get an idea of the transfer. I won't be surprised either way, honestly, because it's such a good product from what I've found so far but it seems like a really big claim. So I'm not getting my hopes up or anything. 
So we will see. All right, I've been talking in the mask for a little bit and let me just give it a good little push like. <laughs> and then let's remove this mask now. <gasps> it transferred. <laughs> oh, but the color looks really good on the lips. Like it still looks full color, full shine, everything. Mm, and it's not sticky the way that it was when you first applied it. Okay, I turned the light down so you can kind of see the inside of this mask. I know that it's kind of difficult since it is a white mask, but it did kind of transfer. But honestly, for the amount of lip color or lip product that I'm wearing right now, that's really nothing. I'm speculating now. But I put two layers of the base coat on, right? Because I wanted full, full, full color. And the instructions say that you have to let it dry for 90 seconds and then put the top coat on. So I let the first layer dry for 90 seconds. And then I put the second layer of lip color on. And I did not wait 90 seconds. I waited like 45 seconds and then I put the top coat on. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'll let you guys know in the description down below. I'm gonna try this again off camera and I'm gonna let it actually dry dry. So we will see, but let me kiss the back of my um, hand real quick to show you guys the transfer of it. So there's really no transfer there. As you can see, it's all just gloss. Why don't, I should just do that, huh? <laughs> it still looks full color. You can see that it's not blotchy, it's not splotchy. And there's still a little bit of shine on here. So let me get a little closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So can you see that I still have my lip color? There's nothing that became blotchy or anything. I'm sorry. I really thought that was gonna work. <laughs> so once the top coat is gone, it's not that sticky. I mean, you can feel the lip color, but it's not sticking the same way that it normally or how it initially stuck. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more top coat. Good as new, wow. All right guys, aside from my failed attempt with the mask, I think really that was on my part. Overall, it's not transferring whenever like I kiss my hand or anything like that. Guys, I know that I'm wearing a different lip color right now, but I did have a couple more thoughts that I wanted to include. Like I said, you definitely have to use both of these in conjunction with each other and just make sure that you use the top coat on all parts of the base coat because if you don't, then it's still gonna feel really sticky and your lips are still gonna stick together wherever you miss it. So for instance, I kind of missed a spot right here just a second ago and when I smacked my lips together it still stuck a little so I added some top coat and we were good to go so that's a little side note for you guys and also just so you know the lip color the actual pigment is very runny as you can see whenever I take it out of the tube it seems to be pretty runny and in the tube is very runny as well so just make sure that you close this completely so it doesn't run all over the place and get on your stuff I'm not currently having any issues with it bleeding out of my lip lines or like getting onto my teeth or anything. I know that I saw someone review it and say that it did get on their teeth. Me personally, that's not happening. So just be careful whenever you're putting it on. I would suggest to go in with a lighter layer at first because these are high pigment. So you may only need a very thin layer and then go in with a little bit more if you find it necessary. That's all, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more information. Uh, so yeah. All right guys, that was everything for this video. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite or which ones you plan to pick up or have already picked up maybe if you were one of the lucky ones. I hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.